All right, everyone, Goldfield and Bakes, Pacific Rock Moss. I own three of these for some reason. Lucky son always stuck these in back when I wasn't asking for them. Clean, freshy, brightening, skin scent. What is Brandon doing? Doing a skin scent. Wait and see. Wait and find out. This certainly isn't a skin scent. New Sabet. Slamba House. My kind of freshy. Anyways, thanks for being on the journey. Thanks for clicking on the channel. New house. Putting it up there. I know I'm late to the party on all of these, but uh, I think my take's original. I think I offer different opinion, different view of things. Thanks for being part of it. Stay tuned. All right, Pacific Rock Moss by Goldfield and Banks. $185, 100 ml, buck 85 in ml. 50 50, I'm going to go down the line. Launched in 2017. Out of Australia, Eau de Parfum. I have to put the current for granted score up on the side of me there with the perfumer's name and all of that. So you can pause the video there, check it out. Notes on Pacific Rock Moss include Australian coastal moss. I want some of that. Lemon, sage, geranium, Virginia cedar. Pretty basic notes. Light skin fragrance. Let's get into it. Nice and soft, clean. It's really okay at this point after smelling so many fresh fragrances carried by one or two synthetics with some citruses on top. This is actually a refreshing take on a, fre or a freshy. Some kind of citrus, some kind of floral. Think orange blossom, mimosa, neroli accord, a light vetiver or moss, a little house accord, some tonalin, ambroxan, maybe some isoe super, and then there's your freshie for each house. This doesn't have a heavy musk carrying it. It relies on its notes. When I first started the journey, like I said, this came in the big box. I had this forever. I didn't like it because it wasn't loud. It was very soft. It didn't last. And now because of that, I actually appreciate this fragrance. I appreciate what they did here after smelling freshy after freshy after freshy, just doing the same stuff. Yes, maybe a different citrus, but after 30 minutes, it's off and it's the same soap. It's the same stuff it all turns into. So I come back, I appreciate what they did here. Yes, it's mixed media, but it's a totally different freshy. Sometimes you do need skin sense. You need to be huggable sometimes, but seriously refreshed it to change. This doesn't open like any of the suggested notes. Instead, I got like a lemon gel that coats the skin with some kind of sugar accord. Very refresh refreshing. Not a lemon cleaner lemon, just literally like a lemon bar, lemon gel, just refreshing sugar oh yeah like a lemon if you eat those lemon bars like spreading that on your skin a little bit not too tangy airy ozonic again refreshed at the change it does have a teenage backbone vibe to the fragrance think going into like a van store in the mall that kind of store in the mall and just getting perfume smells it's got that kind of backbone vibe to the fragrance soft though it's a skin scent soft projection sometimes there's need for that in your fragrance collection the lay down accord has a popular isonic fume to it i've spoken about this many times i found it in pardon by nasamato mfk fragrances by killing fragrances just this clean sweet Air Accord. There's some main synthetic. It might not be released to the public that master perfumers have with Jividon or Ferminich or, or whatever house. They know what I'm talking about. They know what it is. We smell it in a lot of fragrance. It's, it, it's got that backing in this one, whatever that that Masson Francisco John uses a lot in his backing accords um, with a lot of other stuff. Each of them have their own flair to it, but I'm picking up one particular ingredient. I don't know where it is. As soon as I do, I'll report it. Just like people started reporting Isoly Super back in the day, and Baroxin, and, and all these others. This, this is one we're seeing a lot of fragrances now. I don't know the ingredient 
I'll report on it when I do. I like it better than the soapy stuff. I actually appreciate the synthetic more than any other. Through all this, I found my soapy ingredient too. So I know I know that one now. And we'll be doing a special on that later. Overall, this fragrance, that moss, whatever it is, is everything's light. Just like a lemon bar sugar on your skin, soft lemon. Every note's really soft, pleasing, teenage vibe overall. And that, that soft ozonic sweet uh, dry down is what I have. Scoring, Pacific Rock Moss, Gold Phil and Banks, Addictiveness, Originality 12 out of 15. Overall experience on this, four out of five. Projection CIs, Longevity, a two out of five. Composition as a whole, 22 out of 25. Ingredients and price them out, 22 out of 25. Top heart and base, the top, a nine out of 10. The heart, a three out of five. And the base, uh, an eight out of 10. Final score of this one, 84. I'd actually go bottle worthy on this one, even at that score. Uh, definitely a fresh alternative. Nice, crisp, good choice fragrance. Signature evening scent for me. Um, warmer months for sure. Who do I see wearing this one? Jerry Seinfeld. I, I don't see him rocking a big loud fragrance. I see him rocking a skin fragrance all day long. I think this one fits him. Go fill him banks. Get him a bottle. How many sprays for me? Three to nine. I go to nine on this one. I don't think I'd ever spray on it. Everyone, thanks for being on this journey. Let's push perfume forward together. Let's have good perfume together. Peace out. Be blessed.